What, um, what does it mean for you personally? Just give a quick thought, thought on that. Well, I think it's always the type of thing that you have to feel pretty good about, that there's people that have appreciated what you've given to the game. And, uh, you know, you obviously don't go into the, doing all the things you do, you know, when you're starting out thinking about things like that. But it, it, it's kind of nice, you know, whether whether it means that you're you're getting old or that you've fooled enough people or whatever, you know, I'm not sure. But uh, I would say the the biggest thing it meant to me was, you know, I, I knew Dennis Violet when he was here as a coach, uh, you know, with the Washington Diplomats. And to actually, you know, be in a list of names that he's on is as humbling as can possibly be, mm -hmm. you know, because this is just one of the... You know, absolute legends of, of the game, and he had, did so much for soccer here mm -hmm. as well. So, you know, clearly uh, a very, you know, very nice honor that, that I appreciate tremendously. Interestingly, and I think one of the things that the Virginia, D.C., the Hall of Fame does is they recognize people that have been builders of the game as well, and if they may never have played the game, and maybe not even have coached other than coaching their kids, but they've been an important part of uh, the infrastructure of the game in the area, whether that's uh, referees, whether that's administrators with youth teams and, and people like that, Bill Willis, uh, you know, D.C. Stoddard, who or in it for the game. And Len Oliver, you know, has obviously been in the Hall of Fame and mm -hmm. one of the guys who organized it. You know, Len's a guy that everything is about the game first. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no egos there, there's nothing. And, and I think it's great that that organization does look for the different types of people. It's not just the, the players, not just the coach. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of all the elements that make soccer so, so good in this area. I look at it from the college soccer point of view, having started at Georgetown in uh, 1984. I'd like to say I was 16 then, but I, I, was actually, <laughs> I was actually 24, so I was still playing. And, and watching it from there, um, the college scene obviously is dramatically different. It's just so, so much better, you know, than there. There's so many good players, and, you know, everything's competitive. And why is that? It's a byproduct of, of the youth system being so good. And the biggest thing is, if, is over those course of the years, former players getting into coaching. Mm -hmm. And I think back in the early 80s, there were very few former players coaching. Mm -hmm. you know, and I, th I think that's the, that's the best thing, you know, the way that they can influence the game because they played the game. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it at the pro level as well, you know. Uh, absolutely, yeah. And, uh, you, know, and, and, you know, I think the players going into coaching, you know, uh, it, it gives them a at least a, a level that they have a chance at becoming a better coach quicker, you know, but there's still, uh, it's still a thing that, you know, it's not easy to step on and, and you know, and do all that. It takes time.